I want to tell a story about a guy and a community that have successfully built an edible garden that's the envy of many. The immediate benefits here are obvious. It looks gorgeous, tastes even better, and makes best use of this space. What you can't see are the long-term benefits. Gardening's a life skill and the least we can give our kids is the skill to learn to grow their own food, look after their environment, and be healthy at the same time. Now, Rob, you started this garden two years ago? Yeah, we did, Sue. We, we felt a, a need um, as, as, as part of our um, school curriculum to embrace uh, sustainability. So our garden is actually just a small part of um, sustainability as a focus. And the important thing about our garden is that it offers kids a hands-on learning environment and also it teaches them about where food comes from. All the kids get a half an hour gardening time a week. They can also come out on a Wednesday and a Thursday and they, just, they can chill out here or they can help me water the plants and tend the chickens. A lot of the kids are asking me for seeds to, to take home. A lot of them are growing their own things at home. So, you know, it's taking that message back to the community and trying to make a difference in, in obviously, in what they're eating. If you'd like to grow your own waterwise veggie garden or even have a go at creating one at school, I've got the experts here to give us the top five tips. Now, what's the first one? Improve the soil. Now, what do we do when we do that? We use manure, all kinds of it. So, sheep poo, cow and chicken. Now, the next thing I can see is a really good rainwater tank. Yes. What um, do you do with that? The water comes through the drains and roof and it lands in our water tank and then we reuse it and yeah, recycle it. Yeah, well road. done. Now, then it gets into the reticulation system. Yeah, we have a reticulation system in every single um, plant bed, a dripper one, which goes down all the way to the bottom of the tank. Now, the other thing we need to do is mulch. This is so important. Mulching is really good because it keeps the water from evaporating and it keeps the soil nice and cool. Now that we've got the mulch sorted, <laughs> what do we plant? Uh, things that can cope in the hot sun. So all the seasonal vegetables yeah. at the right time of the year. Well, there you have it. From the experts, the easy way to growing a water-wise veggie garden. Well done, guys.